In this video, we are going through lower block signs. That's for P3 and P4 module of diversity, uh, living and non-living things. We are looking at some of the previous examination questions that have appeared before. Figure X shows some fish in a fish bowl. Figure Y shows some fish in a can bought from a supermarket. So this is what you call date and this is what you call a life, all right? So let's look at a fish in figure X. Is it alive? Yes, it is alive because it's in a fish bowl. Can it grow? Yes, because living things, living things can grow and reproduce and respond to changes right in the environment so it, it's alive it can grow it needs food it needs air food and water okay uh, and do not respond to changes around them this is wrong right living things respond to changes around them fish in figure y once alive yes the fish was once alive cannot grow yes do not need food yes it does not need food because it's already not a living thing respond to changes around them nope it does not respond to changes around them so how are the fish in figure x different from the fish in figure y so what you need to look at is uh, it's alive and one's alive so if we look at all the ticks that we have so these three are ticks these three are ticks only this one is cross so we have tick 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 uh, so we have a b and c let's look for a b and c and then the answer is number two all right a b and c and this is how the fish in figure x is different from the fish in figure y uh, the fish in figure x is alive figure y is once alive it used to be alive now it's dead figure x it can grow figure y cannot grow because it's already dead figure x needs food figure y do not need food because they are already dead uh, figure X, this is wrong, all right? So figure X responds to changes and figure Y do not respond to changes. So the answer is number two, which is A, B, and C. So I want to talk about some of the ways to reduce careless mistakes for uh, signs. And the first thing you need to do is to always mark up all these ticks and crosses with your answers, especially at MCQ uh, questions, all right? So always put all these ticks and crosses, and then after that, decide which one is the answer. Put all the ticks at the side, and after you have only put the ticks at the side, look at the letters A, B, and C, and then compare the letters to the uh, options given below. So this is a step-by-step -step method of analyzing the information that's given and then deciding which is correct and which is wrong and then after that looking at the answers that are given over here and choosing the right answer all right this is quite a simple question so you might be able to just look at it and decide which one is the correct answer but it, when it comes to more complicated questions then it's very easy for you to make careless mistakes uh, in choosing your mcqs and then you waste your marks because you know the answers. The leaf of the plant below closes when an insect lands on it. So what kind of plant is this? Uh, this is actually called the Venus fly trap. Okay, so it's a plant that eats insects. It's a very rare plant, I guess. Right, which characteristic of the plant is observed? Uh, okay, so as a plant, because it's a living thing, so living things grow, living things reproduce, living things respond to changes around the environment, living things need air, living things need food, and living things need water. Alright, these six things you have to know and write it out so you can compare it. The plant can grow, living things grow, correct. The plant can reproduce, living things reproduce, correct. The plant can respond to changes around it, living things respond to changes around it, correct. The plant needs air, food and water to survive, correct, okay? So all four actually talks about living things, but the question is asking you what is observed. Observed means what does your eye see, right? What does your eye can see? 
in this experiment, okay? Can you see the plant growing? Nope, I cannot see the plant growing. Can you see the plant reproducing? Nope, I cannot. Can you see the plant responding to changes around it? You see the plant below closes when an insect lands on it. So yes, I can actually see the plant responding to changes around it. Can you see that the plant needs air, food and water? No, I cannot see that for now. Alright, so the answer is actually number three. You observe this characteristics, okay? All four of them are characteristics of living things, but you only observe this one, which is responding to changes around it, in this situation, which is when the insect lands on it. Which of the following statements is are correct? Not all matter can be seen. This is actually correct because air is a matter and it cannot, so air cannot be seen with your eyes. Both matter and non-matter have mass. This is not correct, right? The definition of matter is that matter has mass and takes up space, all right? So this is not correct. Matter takes up space, but non-matter does not take up space. That's correct. Living things are not solid, liquid, or gas, so they are not matter. This is not correct. All right, so living things is made up of a combination of solid, liquid, uh, and gases sometimes. So they are matter. Okay, so living things are matter. So the answer is uh, A and C. So I write down my answers, then I choose it from here, and it's number two. Ali bought a solar toy plant that moves its leaves when light is sh shown on it. His classmates made the following statements about the to solar toy plant. The plant is a living thing because it can move. Do you think that's correct? All right, this is not correct because living things must be able to, to reproduce and respond to changes in the environment and they must be able to grow. They must need air, food, and they need water. So the plant is a living thing because it responds to light, all right? Uh, no, it's not true because it will not be able to grow. The plant is a non-living thing because it cannot grow. That's correct. The plant is a non-living thing because it does not need air, food, and water to survive. Correct. All right. Uh, I mean, survive is a weird word to use here. I'll just cancel this away. The plant is a non-living thing because it does not need air, food, and water. Okay. That's correct. So C and D made the correct uh, statements. So the answer is number four. C and D. Study the table below. A tick shows that the thing A, B, C, or D has the characteristics. Okay, so A is able to, A needs water and reproduce, all right? B can move from place to place, needs water, reproduce, has legs. C can move from place to place, needs water, reproduce, don't have legs. D can move from place to place, has legs, but do not need water and do not reproduce. Right, so which of the following is most likely a non living thing? Okay, so living thing needs air, food, and water. They can grow, respond to changes in the environment, and reproduce. So, I've gone through this many, many times. You must know this, huh? These six things. So, non living things, so they don't need these three things. So, therefore, uh, it's not this. So, this is a living thing because it needs water and reproduce. It's not this because it needs water and reproduce. It needs water and reproduce should be D because it does not need water and does not reproduce. All right, so the answer is number four, D. Study the diagrams below. I have a box, I have a book, I have a plant and an aeroplane based on the characteristics of living and non-living things. Which one of the following does not belong to the same group? So living things need air, food and water. Living things can grow, respond to changes in the environment and reproduce. So which one does not belong to the same group as the others? So this is not a living thing. This is not a living thing. This is not a living thing. This is a living thing. So the answer is the plant. Number three. Ahmad kept two hamsters in a cage over a period of time. He fed them with the same amount of food and water every day. The bar graph shows the number of hamsters in the cage during the five months. So the number of hamsters increased from 
here to here and then increase from here to here and then increase from here to here and then it decreased from here to here okay so again living things need air food and water living things grow respond to changes in the environment and reproduce based on the graph above what do you notice about the number of hamsters from january to april all right so you need to state your observations what do you actually see from january to uh april so i can see that the number the number of hamsters increased okay so it became more and more hamsters from two in january to a 12 in april all right so the number of hamsters increased from 2 in january to 12 in april so this is what you notice from the graph what is the characteristics of living things observed in part a so the characteristics of living things is that they can living is this one ah uh, living things reproduce all right so that is the specific characteristic uh when the numbers increase based on the characteristics of living things why is there a change in the number of hamsters from april to may so basically the number of living things have dropped all right so there's a change because some of the hamsters died because there is what happened all right so you need to look at your characteristics of living things they need air food and water so what happens uh, you feed them the same amount the same amount of food and water every day so what i feed for two hamsters i also feed for 12 hamsters so what happened what happened what happened some of the hamsters died because there is not enough food and water all right so there's not enough food and water so some of the hamsters died uh, in april a millipede curls up when it touched to protect itself so again air food water grow respond reproduce always write this six letters down what characteristic of living things does it show does it show that living things grow so it doesn't show that it grow uh, in fact it shows the respond to changes in environment so living thing reproduce it doesn't show it reproduce respond to changes yes not air food and water so the answer is number three all right it shows number three because when i touch it when i touch it then it curls up and that's a response to the change in environment so that's what it shows okay so it's important to recognize uh what it's showing 